The long walk through Windsor Great Park was busy with families on the half-term holiday today, but on the 19th of May it's here. The crowds now know they can see Prince Harry and his new wife pass by in their carriage. Harry and Meghan Markle announced today the Archbishop of Canterbury will marry them inside St George's Chapel. And they will hold a reception in one of the castle's staterooms, St George's Hall. In between those two events is when the public will get the best chance to see the bride and groom. The 12 o'clock service in the chapel will last an hour. Then at one, the newlyweds will leave the castle grounds through Castle Hill. The carriage procession will take them past the crowds in the high street, then on a two-mile route along Kings Road, Albert Road, before travelling back on the long walk for their reception. And so today, the appropriately named Windsor Castle pub found itself right on the route. Not exactly terrible news when you're planning a party. When you look at our location, what we have, it can't get much better. Go by us here and turn around and go up the long walk. Right. So, yeah. So, so had the phone calls been coming in today, people saying, actually... The phone is non-stop, actually. Right. The phone has been non-stop this morning. When Harry and Meghan complete their carriage possession here on the long walk, they're expecting thousands of people on these now empty grass verges. And the couple are thinking about using this space here to thank the many charities that are closest to Prince Harry's heart. Of course, Harry and Meghan can plan almost everything for their wedding day, but there was one problem they can't resolve. You look at these narrow pavements. Um, where are all the people going to go? Well, in London, there are ready-made processional ways. There's the Mall, there's uh, Whitehall, there's all the space for the crowds to gather outside Buckingham Palace. That just doesn't exist in a, in a country town like Windsor. No news today on whether Prince William will be best man, but it's looking very unlikely now that he will make it as he had hoped to that evening's FA Cup final at Wembley. Chris Ship, ITV News, Windsor.